Ryan Reynolds is not having it. He is full on exposing Joe Alwyn for hurting one of his favorite person, Taylor Swift. How would you feel if I was sleeping with other women and then coming to your house to go on about it? You see, Taylor might have kept the reason for dumping Joe Alwyn from the media, but Ryan feels obligated to defend Taylor's honor by calling out Joe for apparently cheating. Well, we definitely didn't see that coming. As we all know, Taylor's relationship with Joe was her best yet. Like, they were together for, what, six, seven years? and she even dedicated several of her songs to him. So what do you mean he cheated Ryan? Because there was no doubt Taylor was super happy with Joe. And their breakup took everyone by surprise. Although they tried to keep their breakup as low-key as possible and keep the media's attention away from them, the media keeps finding something new about their breakup. And in the past few months, there has been nothing low-key about the entire situation, especially now that Ryan Reynolds is spilling the beans. But before Ryan even said anything, there were many signs indicating that Joe might have done something nasty to Taylor Swift, because less than a week after they broke up, Taylor's close friends following Ryan on Instagram began to unfollow him. Taylor allegedly went out to dinner with Ryan Reynolds and Blake Levy last night. And immediately after, Ryan Reynolds and Taylor's brother Austin unfollowed Joe Alwyn. Keep in mind that Joe and Ryan Reynolds were friends. He wrote Joe's excerpt in Time 100 Next. So what exactly did Joe do? And how bad was it that it got Taylor's BFFs, including Ryan Reynolds, turning against him so fast? And could this affect his career in Hollywood in the long run? Let's dive deeper. If you didn't know, before Taylor started dating American footballer Travis Kelsey, Joe was literally her everything. Taylor and Joe started dating back in 2016, and from the get-go, they kept their relationship super private. And there were even talks of an engagement and even marriage. But fans soon spotted there was trouble in paradise when Joe unexpectedly deleted all his photos of him and Taylor from his Instagram. Inside sources would later reveal that the breakup was unexpected and totally sudden. They had one major fight or argument and that was it. They were done. End of story. As expected, fans began to analyze the situation and concluded that Joe cheated, opening a floodgate of hate against him. Taylor's fans have taken it upon themselves to call Joe many demeaning names for messing with their girl's heart. Swifties are very dedicated to defending Taylor from anyone who dares to hurt her. And now that they believe Joe might have done exactly that, they have not been going easy on him. Taylor's fans' next move was also to find out whom he cheated with. And after a little digging, they somehow concluded that it was actress Emma Laird, who worked with Joe on the movie The Brutalist. According to Taylor's fans, they came to this conclusion after Emma posted a picture of Joe holding a green scooter with the caption, Moment in March, which is similar to the one she posted of herself next to similar green scooters in January. Emma started implicating herself in January when she posted this photo of herself out on a late night rendezvous in England. We're not sure who she's with, but there's these green scooters in the shot and she's looking very dressed up cute. And then right after their breakup was announced in April, Emma posted this photo with the caption, Moments in March, with the same exact green scooter with the pouches on it and Joe Alwyn is riding the scooter. So were they out together late at night having a rendezvous, riding their scooters around London? Taylor and Joe used to do that. She was his London boy. And now there's just another reason why she hates Scooter. Maybe Taylor's fans are getting ahead of themselves, but celebrities tend to be very calculative with their social media posts. And Emma might be passing a message that she and Joe were actually spending time together, regardless of how innocent the pictures might look. After that picture was posted, Taylor's fans immediately accused Emma of coming between Joe and Taylor. They filled up the comment section with a lot of hateful words, calling her a snake and a pretender. It was so bad that she had to turn off the comment on the picture. Sources could not exactly confirm if they are seeing each other, but they did mention that Emma and Joe had gotten really close while working together, and Joe enjoys hanging out with her. Apparently, he struggled with dating a famous person like Taylor, and really likes hanging out with Emma and Hungry without nosy paparazzi and screaming fans. Sources added he liked that they were barely recognized and enjoyed the privacy a lot more. To be fair, Taylor might be one of the most famous pop stars in the world, but she did make an effort to keep her relationship with Joe as private as possible, barely sharing any of their intimate time online. But it looks like that was not enough for Joe, 
Anyway, Emma and Joe might really have something going on, because sources said she has been paying a lot more attention to public opinion on Joe and Taylor's breakup than usual, to the point where she even liked to post on their breakup. Which, of course, made matters worse and drove Taylor's fans nuts. But what interests us the most is how Ryan Reynolds and more of Taylor's friends reacted to the breakup. The way they immediately unfollowed him one after the other is just shocking and really weird. Taylor might have been the one in the relationship with him, but he became friends with her people. And they unfriended him like it was nothing. Something seriously bad is definitely going on between Taylor Swift and Joe Alwyn. She's been hanging out with a bunch of her friends recently. Just last night she was having dinner with Blake and Ryan Reynolds. And every single time she goes out with these people, they unfollow him. They unfollow Joe. She goes out with Blake last night. They both unfollow him. She just went out with Gigi. Gigi unfollows him. Here is the list of every single friend of Taylor that has unfollowed Joe in pretty much the past 24 hours. It feels like Taylor is literally dropping down the tea and telling everyone what's going on in these dinners. And then they were like, oh hell no, I'm gonna unfollow this dude because of what he did to her. So, these shitty rumors are just going to get bigger. Gigi Hadid was one of the first to unfollow Joe, then more of her close friends. Like Danielle Haim Esty and Alana followed suit. But the surprising person who unfollowed Joe was Taylor's brother, Austin Swift, which kind of confirmed that Joe really messed up. To give you a better understanding, Austin hardly uses social media. His Instagram is literally empty and he is not that active, but he took his precious time to log into his Instagram just to unfollow Joe. That is so wild. Just how badly did Joe hurt his sister? Austin unfollowing Joe looked really bad, but not as Ryan Reynolds and his wife unfollowing him after meeting up with Taylor for dinner. Taylor and Reynolds are extremely close. They are practically family and invite each other for intimate family events. She even named the characters in Betty after Ryan's kids, so it only makes sense that they would be by her side and want to support her after getting hurt. And we all know how Ryan Ryan is not the one to get involved in online drama, but this time he is not holding back and this is kind of sad because he really took Joe under his wing and considered him a friend. In fact, they have been hanging out a lot and even spoke on some ideas that might see them working together in a movie. Ryan even published an article about Joe in Times Magazine to help him boost his career and had only good things to say about them. He said, I've known Joe Alwyn for six years and that's long enough to see someone's heart, long enough to know whether or not they're made of good stuff. And Joe Alwyn is made of good stuff. And just a few weeks after their breakup, Ryan basically took his words back, responding to a post that said, Maybe sometimes people didn't actually change. Maybe you just never knew who they really were. Ryan commented saying, it is one of the most heartbreaking things in life. Reading that, you can really tell that Ryan was disappointed in Joe and it mostly has to do with his behavior with Taylor. Again, Ryan is really not one to comment on issues like this, but he had grown fond of Joe and taken him as a friend, a close pal and someone he could vouch for. You just know that something bad happened and Ryan is upset with Joe, he probably wants nothing to do with him at this point and has completely cut him off. And as usual, fans are giving their opinion on the entire drama. Some fans said Joe is probably the dumbest man in the world. Imagine being an aspiring actor and losing friendship with Ryan Reynolds, who's willing to write a Time article praising you. However, some fans are not buying the narrative that Joe cheated and think Ryan unfollowing a fellow actor is just unnecessary. One fan says, Maybe it's just me, but I just don't think Joe cheated on Taylor. She's definitely hurt, but I feel like the reason is something like him not putting enough effort into the relationship, taking roles that leave them separated for months, or having different opinions about marriage and kids. So what do you think? Was their breakup amicable or did Joe really cheat? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you don't want to miss out, make sure uh, to subscribe to Pop Plug. And if you want to know how Taylor and Travis broke the internet with their news, watch this next video.